Fargo at the Caleb Cares Foundation yes, Heisman indeed. Trophy celebration at Caleb's old stomping grounds, Gonzaga College High School. So let's get another check in with Chad, and hopefully you're with the Heisman Trophy winner himself. Hey, Chad. <laughs> How are you, Marina and Joe? Listen, this is a truly special and spectacular day. I say all of the time that the best high school collegiate student athletes in America come from right here in the DMV. Today, we have arguably the biggest star of all time. That, of course, is Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams, who is joining us now as he's here with us in the zone. Caleb, I know that you've answered a ton of questions about winning the Heisman, but in the last seven months, you, uh, you won that Heisman. You had a big season out at U.S. See a media tour that you've been on. What has this last year been like for you? Yeah, it's been really fun to be honest. Um, there's been a, there's been a lot, but it's been fun. I'd rather be wanted than not wanted. Um, and so, um, and busy and, and instead of not being busy. Um, and so, uh, like I said, it's been fun, um, the journey. But you know, you keep the main goals, the main goals, and the main things, the main things. And you know, these things, it comes with it. So, um, you know, trying to reach, reach your goals and your aspirations. Um, things like this come with it, and. Um, like I said, rather be wanted than not wanted. And today you have the opportunity, due to all of your accomplishments, to be able to come back home here to I Street, to Gonzaga College High School. Your jersey was even retired in the ceremony here today. Pep rally full of your peers. What was this like? I was really, uh, it, was, it was really an honestly, um, it's the word I can put to it. It felt emotional, really. Yeah, it, it, it did. It did. Um, just because it's old stomping grounds, you know, you put so much hard work into this place, whether it was school, because school was rigorous here, or um, whether it was football. And, and Coach T, was, he was tough on us. And so, um, you know, it, it did prepare me for, for what I've been doing and, and, you know, the next step at some point. But, um, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a bit of an emotional kind of thing um, coming back and, you know, being one of the guys here yeah. of, of these other two legends to be able to, you know, get their get their jersey retired. So it's, it was a really cool moment also. And now, Caleb, we have about 30 seconds left. I know that this is about so much more than just football. Your Caleb Cares Foundation, why is this something that you started? What do you intend to do? Yeah, the, the, the mantra here that we have it instilled in me from Coach um, and, and, and Gonzaga is, is men for others. And so, um, you know, me being a man for just anyone else and I'm um, using my platform and, and, and my base that I have to be able to reach out and help others. That's right. Caleb, it has been an honor covering you since middle school, brother. <laughs> Caleb Williams, Heisman Trophy winner, a student athlete, and now a man doing things for others, both on and off the field, the Caleb Cares Foundation. Back to you guys, Marina and Joe. Incredible stuff that there. That is incredible and motivational and inspirational. I hope the young people who yeah. are watching, especially those young people at their school, my nephews, take <laughs> he to what Caleb did and was able to do. My nephews, get your grades. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, he is a role model these days. They retire mm -hmm. his jersey, and every time they look up at that gym or think about someone in the DMV, if you're not at that school, just remember there are people who have made it out, have done it, and have done it big. And you can do it, too. Absolutely. What an inspiration there. Caleb Williams, the Heisman Trophy winner right here from the DMV. When we come back in the zone, we're going Wait, to the go. web. We're going to producer Coco. Oh, my man. And we got a debate from the Shade Room. Watch this. We'll okay. be right back.